Republicans have been really upset that Brittany Griner was exchanged for Victor Bout, most notably because many Americans say Brittany Griner is anti-American. She always makes posts down talking America, being anti-American, and yet when she's in trouble, she's begging the same people that she always talks about. A little bit on that to come later in the show. But even Donald Trump decided to make a statement about this. Now, let's hear what he has to say. Take music! What kind of deal is it to swap Brittany Griner, a basketball player who openly hates our country, for the man known as the Merchant of Death, who was one of the biggest arm dealers anywhere in the world and responsible for tens of thousands of deaths and horrific injuries? Why wasn't former Marine Paul Whelan included in this totally one-sided transaction? He would have been let out for the asking. What a stupid and unpatriotic embarrassment for the United States. Hmm. That's very interesting, former President Trump. But more to come on that. We'll come back to that. Candace Owens, also on the Candace Owens podcast, released similar sentiments. And I talked about that. But I want you to hear what she has to say first, and then we'll come back. Moving on, you guys, to a happier story. And by happier, I mean sadder. That's what I meant by happier. <laughs> Just as, but it's funny. At least it's funny in a sad way. But... I'm sure you guys have been following the Brittany Griner story. She's a WNBA player, and she got caught with cannabis cartridges going into Russia. That's a big no-no. It's Russia. And she was sentenced to prison there, and obviously this caused an uproar because how could a WNBA player who just wanted to smoke a little pot be sentenced to a sweatshop in Russia? And by the way, I have been vocal. I thought the punishment was extreme for the crime. Right. I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, no, lock away every single person that has a cartridge of marijuana on them. I think what she did was stupid and she's anti-American and she's constantly commenting on America. But at the same time, I think that this sentence was also extreme. So I am in the middle of this. She's now been released in a prisoner swap, which is just the most ridiculous I've ever heard. They swapped Brittany Griner for a merchant of death arms dealer, Victor Bout, a Russian merchant of death. That's what he's called, arms dealer. So I'm just trying to picture Putin getting this phone call because it's just so ridiculous. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, Mr. Putin, America is on the line and they are very sad that you're keeping Brittany. I do not care. I do not care. I just want to be keeping her just ridiculous. She's smoking pot. This is a very bad Russian accent, but let's go with this, right? Um, okay, America's on the phone again, and, and they're very, very sad. They say they're super sad that you have her. What is, what is he calling me about the emotions of the Americans? I don't care about the emotions of the Americans. Okay, well, uh, the activists in America say they're super de-duper sad, and they're wanting to know if they gave you your arms dealer, who is referred to as the merchant of death, <laughs> would you give them back their pot-smoking WNBA player? Is this a prank? No, no, it's, it's just Western philosophy. It's just America. So they want to feel good. So now we've heard that. Now also, I've played this clip before, but I do also want to play this particular TikToker who also says something very similar about what's going on. And then we're going to make sure that this all comes together. We traded a man named the Merchant of Death for somebody that hates America. <laughs> Again, I'm going to say that one more time so people can understand. We traded a convicted terrorist for somebody that doesn't even like the country that helped free them from prison. So again, again, again. It all seems like this is a bad trade, right? Until we get to the Britney Griner exposure. Now, I want to talk about this situation because it is very, 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 very interesting um, when you deal with it. And it comes from this particular person, Tristan Neal 212 on TikTok. Let's play that clip. Donald Trump's raising a ruckus about Brittany Griner. Here are two things you need to know. In late 2018, Trump released Abdul Ghani Baradar, one of the top leaders of the Taliban, along with 5,000 Taliban fighters. And in exchange for those people, we got, hang on, I'm gonna look. 
still looking. I must have it somewhere. Squ Nobody! We, di we didn't get anybody back for them. Number two, former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan was arrested in Russia in December 2018. Donald Trump was president until January of 2021, so this wasn't just on Joe Biden's watch. So in this clip, Tristan Nail 212 put out something very interesting. That in 2018, Donald Trump released hmm, 5,000 of the Taliban. Okay, what do we get in return for that? Nothing. But now just think about this. Paul Whelan, hmm. He was arrested into 2018. Oh yeah. When was Donald Trump the president? Oh yeah, he was president up until 2021. Guess what? Hmm. President Trump didn't give a damn about Paul Whelan. When he was allegedly having somewhat of a favorable relationship with Putin, more so than what Biden does now. So you 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 had really good relationships with President Putin and you still didn't get Paul Whelan released. So now why are you acting like that was such a bad trade when President Trump, former President Trump, released 5,000 people in the Taliban, got nothing for, back from it. And also you're a hypocrite because you had the opportunity to release Paul Whelan and you didn't. That's the first part. But let's talk to some of you anti-American blacks out there. There are many. Brittany Griner is one of them. And let me just say this. Now, while I do believe that the United States has a lot of uh, corruption. And I want to get back to that Donald Trump statement. Remember when he says that, you know, that Russian armed dealer has killed tens of thousands? So has America. Millions in foreign lands supporting corrupt regimes just so that America can get their resources. Uh, we can talk about how America supported Samuel Doe in Liberia when Samuel Doe was killing his own people. America had no problems with that. In fact, America was giving arms to Liberia, $500 million for him to be a tyrant. All right. Then at the same time, depose him. And then, you know, remember Charles Taylor? Yeah. He, America busted him out of prison to go back to Liberia so that he can also be corrupt. What about, hmm, Hassini Habre of Chad? Oh yeah. One of the most brutal dictators in the history of Africa. One who supported him and gave him arms to oppress his own people. You, 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 you guessed it. The United States of America, Ronald Reagan, did it in the Cold War. Didn't care. Just like Donald Trump don't care about his own people. But you have these blacks, though. Getting back on Brittany Griner. You do everything you can to talk about America. I don't want to be here. Oh, America sold this. And then everything that you have, you get it from America. Literally. You're playing professional sports in America. You are living amongst white people in America. You are on the Olympic teams in America. And then when you get in trouble, who are you begging to come get you? Please, Joe Biden, come get me. And that's 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 stupid. What what other place can you talk bad about people and they should render you a service? And, and while America is not perfect and it is racist, I've lived in other countries. Seriously, like, don't get me wrong. We got a lot of work to do as a people. I've lived in Poland. I've seen Africans in Poland who are struggling. I've been living in Africa and the basic amenities that Americans have is luxuries in countries like Kenya and Uganda. Most of you guys that are sitting there running your mouth, most of y'all have fiber internet in your house. It's a given. Big washer and dryer. If you have a washer machine in most African countries or even in some parts of Europe, you're rich. If you have a washer and a dryer both, you're super rich. Most of you have cars, access to credit, access to finance, and you got it because you're in America. Is it perfect? No. But don't talk about something that you need. The same people talking trash about America all day long will sit there and beg for cash apps, US dollars, and will be the same person throwing the black person under the bus for that same US dollar. Hypocritical. And that's Griner. But the listen, Trump ain't no better. He's worse. You had the opportunity to get Paul Whelan out. You didn't. Now you want to act like it's such a bad trade when you did something worse. That's why Republicans nor Democrats, although I do favor the right, can be trusted when it comes to the black community. The black community needs to pull away from both parties and be completely independent of these parties. Create our own party. If you want to have conservatives on one side of the party and liberals on one side of the party, and vote that way we need to because neither of these parties are both hypocritical they're going to keep lying and it's not in our interest so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson
back at it again. Another episode of the Serby Junk. Appreciate your father, you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. <laughs>